If you want to convert your document into an invoice, calendar, greeting card, certificate, agenda, etc., Word has some templates for you to peruse through. Just come up here, click on the File tab, go backstage down to New. And there's the blank document, but here's some others like Certificate of Participation. Ooh, gift tag labels, that's nice. You can scroll down. Now, this is basically your home page for the templates. So if you find a template, like when you're perusing through the suggested searches, well, you can either go ahead and type in a keyword or keywords, or just click on one of these categories, like something. Let's click on education. <laughs> Give it a second. That when you find something in here that you like, let me click and drag and scroll down, see if I like, oh, that's nice, a fall harvest celebration. So if I like that and I want to keep using it or referring to it over and over again, instead of clicking on education, I can go ahead and come down here and click on pin to list. And so when I come back up here and click on home, guess what gets pinned to the home page? It's celebration. Cool. So that way it's always there until I come down below and I click on it to unpin. In which case, it gets removed and because it's not the most recent pin, gets bumped down, but it's still there. Unless I'm opening up a lot and going through them, it won't roll off, and it definitely won't roll off if I click to pin it back in. And because it's the most recent, it's right close to the top here. Now you can do it that way, or you can come up here and click in the search field and type in Christmas, hit enter, it searches thousands of online templates. Oh, that's nice, look at that, a gift for you. You can see when you hover over it, Christmas gift certificate. Go ahead and click on it. Gives you a little preview and something about it. And if you don't like that, instead of closing out and then selecting the next one, well, when you have this one up, you can just go ahead and hit the right arrow. Automatically advances to the one to the right. And then you click the next and it goes down through all the others that are in that category, Christmas. And if you want to go ahead and create it, let's see, Christmas cards are ready. Let's go ahead and click on create. Downloads it, opens it up, there you go. Now it's a template, so just make it your own. And as you scroll down, it says Merry Christmas. And best wishes, the default here, you can go ahead and say, you know, the very best wishes for the happiest of holidays. And then you can type in your name when you're done. Hit the print button, and off it goes. Of course, you know, make sure you got some card stock, or, well, you can go ahead and print on regular sheets of paper with the color printer or not with the color printer. I mean, it's your flavor. Go ahead and choose what works best for you. And then when you're done, you can see up here on the title bar, it's got a generic name because it's a copy of the template. So if you want to use this in the future, you know, for others that you want to send this to, you can personalize it and say to the Joneses, the very best, and then go ahead and print that, then update it to the Smiths and then print that and then type it to somebody else in any case if you want to save it so you don't have to keep recreating this whatever customizations you make to it and then just come up here and click on the save button it's going to do a save as asking us where do you want to save it and what name do you want to give it we'll save it to the desktop which it's already there and then merry christmas sure go ahead and click save and that's it close out and then we're back in our blank document close out of that Go to the desktop. There it is. Merry Christmas. Double click, open it up. And then we can scroll down to the second page. The very best wishes in any case. You got it there now. You don't have to go back to File, New, and go through that whole search again. Unless, of course, one of two things. It was a recent search, in which case you'll find it right here. But if you do more searches, then this doesn't become as recent. So it gets knocked off unless you pin it in which case it becomes the most recent right up at the top there. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for only $2 a month, you get online access to all my training. Or for downloads and DVDs, please visit me at dreamforce.us.